Hi fisher folks, Rich here again. So down back on the local mark, Perch Rock. So fishing down to low, <coughs> low excuse me. Fishing down to low today. So uh, it's big tide. Uh, I think it's about nine and a half on the high. So I think we're down to about 0.7 on the low, something like that. So just got uh, two whole squid baits out at the minute. Just see if we can pick up a smooth hound on this first bit of the ebb running out and then uh, obviously switch over to some fish and squid baits as we get down on the on the ebb a bit further see if we can start picking some rays up so weather looks not bad bit of a well, fairly light moderate northwesterly blowing in i think that's veering round to the west overcast reasonably warm so so far all looking good and uh not sure what the weed and crab situation is going to be like yet because I've literally just cast out but we'll see as we go along so uh, I shall see you later with an update. so awful lot of debris whizzing around in this big eddy in front of me at the minute so uh, I don't know if you can see out the beach there's peace along there quite a lot chucked up on the beach already so uh, I think that's going to be a bit of a problem the first hour or so I'm hoping it's going to clear out after a bit and uh, but at the moment it's going to hamper fishing a little bit just brought the baits back in Crab activity doesn't look too bad, so uh, fingers crossed on that side. That's one out of the two nasties out of the way anyway, so uh, see you in a bit. Hey folks, so quick update, uh, tide's easing down a bit now, making life a bit easier and the weed, which has been horrendous, <laughs> uh, seems to be easing off a bit now. Uh, crab activity's come up a little bit, noticed from the last couple of casts, so I've just gone up on the bait size just to leave more bait out there and uh, see if we can uh, get a ray coming in to find it, so uh, hopefully coming into a better time of the tide now so I'm optimistic at the minute so see you later on Hi folks, quick update, so uh, what time are we on? Let's have a look. I think we're at about an hour and a half now to low, so um, into the good bit of the tide as I like to think on these big tides. So, very quiet though. I uh, haven't really had a bite yet, did uh, have a tiny, tiny dab harpoon the rigs when I brought it in. Still lots of may rot in the water clogging up the line which is a bit of a nuisance. You have to sort of wind in, get it off, wind in, get it off. So uh, yeah, still optimistic for a ray though as ever. See you later.
on this one a little bit. I don't know what's happened to his tail, but only a short tail. Not bad fish. Probably six, seven pounds, something like that. So uh, get him unhooked back in the water. number two out this one with a complete tail unlike the last one little male fish so slack liner on that one so yeah just coming on the feed as, a, as we're hitting low water here so uh, get this little fella back and uh, get another bait out Getting a, a ray bite on this left hand rod at the minute, just done a couple of pull downs. Of course, as soon as you stick a camera on it, it stops. <laughs> so, always good not to rush a ray bite. That first indication is often them just settling down in on a bait. Got a see it just nodding slightly there. Got a whole bluey out on that a small bluey with a squid head on it. So uh, just give it a little longer and see if he takes it.
still there. It's just done two more pull downs. So uh, it's probably on the bait now. It always happens every time you pick up the camera to show a ray bite, it stops. But yeah, it definitely looks like there's a ray, ray on that one. So. Uh, Hugging bottom, just dug into the bank there. It's a steady pressure, get him up out of the sand. Even now. I'm trying to move a big suction cup off the bed. Digging in well, this one, little fella. He's well digging in this one. Need a bit of patience. Inching him back at the minute. Gets some line on him before he digs in again.
massage. It's just bigger, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> Of time digging in in that one, so he has got a bit of his tail missing this one. I don't know what's going on out there, but anyway, so uh, that one's out on bluey and squid wrap. So uh, get him back and uh, be on the flood soon, so we won't get too long on the tide this size. So uh, on the last cast now, so three rays out in the end, long time waiting and then typical rays, they all come on the feed at once and you get quite a short, intense spell of activity. So uh, I think it's probably six or seven. Um, so yeah, enjoyable session. Thanks for watching and I shall see you next time on the beach, fish folks. Bye for now.